Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tomb Raider. Uh, Twitch quit out because it's a piece of fucking shit. Um, and it quit out right after the cutscene with, uh, you know, when we saved that little girl's dad. Um, so I headed down in the tomb here. We are, we are, we just started the cutscene here. Um, and this is where we were. This is where I was when I stopped it. I noticed pretty quickly that the bar wasn't at the top anymore, so I figured that I would turn the game off and we'll restart. We're going to go for another hour since we were about uh, half in and then we'll do um, probably do two, three Tomb Raider videos today. So uh, just know that the previous part is only about 26 minutes, really short. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and resume this cutscene. Remember who you are. I am one of you. Yeah. Is that why you had me arrested? If my brother was alive, rest his soul. Yeah, he will think. This bickering is a waste of time. Come home. I am home. This is home. Unaruto, dream for a moment. How will Baititi prosper when dawn comes in a world without threats coming from the outside? Aren't you such a threat? Remake the world? We all create destiny, together, as we are. Everything I've ever done has been for Paititi. Everything! When it was divided, I unified it! I am the only one who sees the real threat here. You come and go as if your life here is optional. Yes. I have lived the outside world, and I have seen what's to come. Every day, it encroaches. Paititi will not survive its invasion. Everything we are will be taken or destroyed. Well, then we must fight for it together, according to the will of its people. By restoring the sun. Hmm? That will only ensure Paititi's safety for a moment. But then, it doesn't protect us from discovery Invasion! Our destiny is to be doomed! No! No! We... We must be bold! Decisive! Act with me. I need your intelligence, your resilience in my world. Why did you guys just join the United Nations or something? The cult of Kukulten? Or should I say Trinity? If it's control you want, you can have it. Just help me now ensure Paititi's safety, and then, by all means, you can govern it as you wish. I will give you the throne. I will do it. No. I will find the box and restore the sun. May it's like be your judge. Why do you think so little of me? <laughs> Take her back to her cell. You can send me back. But I will never betray your people. No, you will just fail them. The box is gone. A missionary, Andres Lopez. He stole it 400 years ago. Oh, what? You just wasted your life searching in the wrong place. Leave me now. Well, then. Well, there we go. Um, so, Lopez stole the box. That's why the box is gone. Where did you know the box is gone? 
Alright, we have this document. We have this here. Another Kuri group Kuri of children is on their way from Khan, traveling via steamship. Of the ten I have sent, please keep a close eye on the one called Amaru. He shows the greatest promise. However, he is prone to bouts of sullenness and often complains about missing his brother. I suggest a special curriculum be created for this one. Something that will keep him too occupied to be homesick. The shadows uh. loom long and dark. The mountain, black as night, in mourning, as the strange pale men end the short but immensely productive life of Kaiuaka Park. He whose yearning for greatness lashed this city to his shoulders and carried it upwards, who only ever asked for Enti to warm his brow as he worked, in the streams, or fields, or brickyards. Kaiuaka Park made a deal with the strange men. He gave his life so that we may live ours, free, but under the new rule of these men from distant lands. Alright, we have this here. The city's Here's priests, he. or shamans, if we mean to differentiate between the heathens and those who toil in the Lord's light, were the first to come forward, the first to listen, to hear of the state of the outside world. And thereupon, several of them felt completely cheated and begged to be baptized. They reasoned rightly. Their worship and trust was misplaced in the traditional deities of these lands. For as one stated, if your God has brought you here, across the world, then he truly must be the most powerful, and only a fool would not bow to such a being. We will teach these shamans English and have them teach the population of Paititi. All right. So we have a relic here. A lot of stuff down here, by the way. That black and yellow stripe across his face marks this as Tezcatlipoca, a very important god to the Aztecs. Let's see if I can remember everything he was associated with. Jaguars, hurricanes, the night winds, the night sky, earth, the north, Sorcery, beauty, temptation, leadership, war, strife, interpersonal conflict in general, and of course, obsidian and divination. His right foot is often replaced with a piece of reflective obsidian, which the Aztecs used as mirrors, and these mirrors figured in shamanic rituals and prognostication. Tezcatlipoca literally means smoking mirror. Well, it's creepy. In an effort to reduce the possibility of disease entering Paititi, Emperor Shika hereby temporarily bans all citizens from exiting the city. Anyone currently beyond the city's limits will not be authorized to re-enter. Paititi is still recovering from a recent epidemic and any other outbreaks could tip the already precarious balance. By order of the cult of Kukul Khan. She. Where does that sound familiar? All right, we have this one here as well. In order to not Guidelines. upset an already delicately balanced situation, all members of Trinity will adhere to the following rules. Limit excursions in the city. If leaving the compound is unavoidable, always wear the cultist uniform. Do not carry modern weapons. Avoid direct contact with Paititians when possible. And this one here as well. Kukul Khan bid me to join the ranks of the priesthood. The pantheon of Paititians is a patchwork of several cultures. I'll need to study their rituals, their beliefs, and learn how we can use their own gods against them. The ones from across the water are devious and intelligent. I do not doubt the city will soon be united under the control of Kugel Khan. Alright. Yeah, a bunch of, uh, a bunch of, uh, things to read down here. 
another of these. This is Tonatia, the sun god and ruler of the Aztec heaven, which they called Talon. He was literally the sun itself, Hello. the fifth one, in fact, presiding over the fifth age after the four previous suns had perished. The Aztecs believed they had to sacrifice to him regularly, or else he would refuse to move across the sky. He was strongly associated with eagles, unsurprisingly, and was often depicted wearing their feathers and carrying weapons such as arrows and shields, or instruments specifically created for human sacrifice. Alright, so... And all this crap now. Now we can head down Jonah, here. I know where she is. I'm going in. Okay, we're on our way. Did you feel the tremor before? Yeah, when I was in the cenote. It was a foreshock. The earthquake is coming soon. We have to hurry. Yeah, when we get Unuratu out, we'll all go find the box together. Alright, so I can't go through here. There's a tomb down here, so we'll go ahead and go in here. This seems to be some kind of primitive sculpture of a human. I thought we already got one of these before. The city is only as strong as its crops and people. From here, we control the water, 
never having to rely on the Fickley Reigns again. Alright, we can take out our modern guns again, which means that we can equip the, uh, the outfit. Here, cock the gun. All right, so that means we can equip the uh, the outfit or not. Fuck, man, I'm really getting sick of this shit. <laughs> there's a there's another area that we'll actually come to uh, later where. Um, This yeah. could be the way out. Where we be actually there. What we want. We actually still have another, like, bigger area to go to. A working Maya aqueduct might be able to climb up there. All right. and tether the raft.
move the raft to this section. And where? I can probably move the raft somewhere useful. Definitely go through there. I'll need to use that crank to raise the water level. See, Laura does not turn on her fucking flashlight. I need to use that crank to raise the water level. that anymore. I can tether the raft to the coil on the water wheel. Have to find a raft. Maybe that water wheel can pull something. can tether that anchor to the water wheel's coil. What, this one? More coming. They're relentless. Find a raft. I can tether the raft to the coil on the water wheel. that anchor to the water wheel's coil. I have to find a way up to that platform. I can tether the raft to the coil. Should be able to get up higher now. I have to find a raft. I can't carry anymore. Oh, okay. I'm actually full on fucking gold. Who'd have thought?
Alright, so now we can get out of here. Yeah, yeah, put our weapons away. Blah, 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 who cares? Okay, so we'll head back out now and uh, we'll just continue heading forward on the journey to get Unaratu. Back out here. Go. Okay. So Okay. Camera angles make everything fucking impossible. You know, you, it, it's you have to, you're, they're showing you literally where to fucking jump, and you still get bullshit. Like, it shows you right where to jump. The fact that she's not just jumping straight to it. Quattle, the feathered serpent. The Aztecs worshipped him as a force of nature, responsible for the wind and the rain. In his most wrathful tempers, these natural phenomena became extreme, acting to cleanse the earth and sky. Through that, he also became associated with justice and with mercy, 
According to one legend, he had misbehaved with his sister, and to atone for his shame, he set himself on fire. Then, his ashes rose into the sky, and he became a god of light as well. the river, almost at the prison. There are guards everywhere. We're heading towards the river. Get back to you when we're there. Okay. is not in Paititi. I know. I will be forced to join Amaru. Everything I fought for since Aidi's death will be lost. I won't let that happen. Come on, let's go. We're out of time. Someone needs to find that box. If the sun is not recharged or the world we made, all of us will be destroyed. I found another clue. Maybe. The tattoos on your arm, the heron and the eclipse, the same symbols were found engraved on the altar where the box was taken. What? What do the symbols mean? This one shows my destiny. The crimson fire of Chak Chin. And this one grounds my past. It symbolizes Chim Chichika, the last true emperor of Paititi. His tomb is in the upper district. Can you take me there? They're all over that tomb. If there's anything there, they would no doubt have found it already. Amaru doesn't have this clue. He doesn't know what to look for. crawling with guards. We'll find our way around them. It'll be dangerous. I'm sure. Then there's no time to waste. How is it? Right. Safe. He helped me find you. He should be with Uchu now. The ruling family is displaced, reduced to nothing but a figurehead while we truly control the city. The reason for allowing them to remain in position of seeming power is twofold. It allows us to focus on our search for the silver box, and it acts as a pacifier for the locals who are recalcitrant to any type of change. Alright, so now we're gonna break her out of her prison. Jonah, I'm with Unuratu. Oh good. Edsley wants to talk to her. Mother, we're sending backup. Should I support Uchu or use the distraction to seize territory? You're in charge while we're separated, Edsley. Trust your instincts. Jesus. 
Peace out, bitch. something nearby. A once ferocious warrior raised as a warning. They yeah, fell from his mouth and now lie beneath him. Another stuff up here. Dressed in native garb, we entered the city. Those healthy enough to resist our advance met us with spears. We bowed and told them Kukul Khan had sent us to cleanse the city of sickness. We administered bombs and medicine to the city's leaders and those we thought worth saving, buried the dead and comforted the dying. Slowly the people came to trust and soon rely on our aid. As ordered, we have made our way to Khan in search of the suspected traitor Andreas Lopez, accompanied by a squadron of native warriors. We'd found them along the shores of the Gulf after they had recently escaped a slave ship that was caught in a storm. The initial encounter was tense, but soon we came to an accord. The warriors agreed to accompany us through the jungle, on the condition we made a detour to several other outposts to enlist more of their people and that we would keep them from being enslaved. We found that altogether satisfactory, and soon set off. Alfonso Ricci, Order of Trinity. This map shows you some extra stuff that I haven't gotten yet. They have several yeah. sites all over South America. <sighs> Wish I'd found this map sooner. I could have gone directly to Paititi. down here. Totally forgot about this. like a sarcophagus over here, a crypt, which are all over there, but I really just kind of want to keep moving this game forward, so we're just going to keep going forward. I think we're clear. Let's go. Playthrough already passed like 10 parts and everything, it's already long enough. We've still got plenty of stuff to go, so. Oh! It's thrown us! Who to? Damn! Damn!
take this key. Thanks. Come. I want to show you something. The eclipse is coming. Once it is here, the box must be opened. Temptation of the box is so powerful, it will pull me toward it. Intent me with a fantasy. An easy way to solve our problems. But it will only show me my strongest, most secret desires. I have prepared my whole life to resist it. Amaru has not yet seen the box, but already its power corrupts his mind. Baititi is its people and can only survive by our will together. So, if Amaru remakes Paititi his way, it's like he destroys it? Yes. We face many threats from the outside, but risk is a part of life. We must confront it to remain true to ourselves. How do you know you'll be able to resist the power once you have it? I don't. But if my training fails me, the crimson fire will guide me and hold me to my promise. We should go. What is the crimson fire? It is my destiny. It's connected to the sacrifice. According to legend, the key price of Yeah, we already know. When the crimson fire smokes, seek your mirror. It's a powerful force of accountability. That's all I know. Do any of those creatures ever find their way in here? Creatures? They attack. In the caverns around Paititi, they were in conflict with Trinity. And at the altar where the box was taken, they came after me. Do you mean the Yashil? Yashil. They were tall and fast, hungry, almost desperate. I would not call them creatures. There are more than that. The key I gave you should work here. To the Yashil. There are many legends. It was long ago, but Paititi owes much of his safety to them. They protect it. I don't know if that's their intention, but their actions have that effect. They don't ever attack the city? No. We have always lived in cooperation. I think Amado might be planning a public sacrifice. Of a rebel? We have to stop it. No. Not unprepared. This is like down underneath here, so. Oh well. Stay near me and do as I do. The crowd could turn on us. This way. Preservation! Their leader, the trailer, Ururatu, your fallen Oh, shit, we're gonna be in some my custom. sacrifice. But it is not too late to save Today, we offer a sacrifice to Ururatu. Come. As a prayer for protection, as the echoes draws near. With this sacrifice, this rebel's life will be redeemed. May all of Fellows, see the lights and rejoin us. Amaru said he wanted an end to violence. He sees it as a means to end. Well, the heart, roll the body down the steps. That's how it works. All 
these people believe him, they are afraid. And a good reason. Not much fun. The tomb is beyond that door. Innocent eyes will blink at dawn when weakness falls away. The tomb is up there, on that statue. I'll watch the gate. I won't be long. Jonah, we're close to the Emperor's tomb. We're by the river, ready to get you and Unaratu out of there. Let me know when you're ready. <sighs> Alright. Okay. <sighs> Let's go. On the hand. Good. Now to get in. <sighs> that looks like my way in. Emperor's tomb. I almost have what we need. We'll be ready. Dead mummy guy. Layers of symbolism in these stucco panels. Another dead mummy guy. Multiple this dead altar mummy guy. is elaborate. This must have been an important ruler. is unmistakable. The Eclipse and the Heron. What am I missing? Wait, did Lopez leave this? The heart of the serpent is in the cup. Uh oh. We got people. In here. Hi. Commander Rourke. We've got a lead on the box. Send a team for Croft.
give this to Edsley. He's a rifle heir. He must live by Titi. He's young, but strong. His spirit as noble as his blood. Don't go, keep talking to me. The box, it will tempt you. Resist. We all create our destiny. There goes Inaratu. Passing through the cloth as usual. And it's time for me to get the fuck out of here. Where is my mother? Your mother. She... She fought hard. But that's the leader's amulet. It belongs to you now. She was a warrior. The eclipse draws near. If we cannot restore the sun... I'll find the box. I won't let the cult of Kuku Khan get to it first. Begin the preparations for the burial chamber. Queen Unuratu will live on within us. Uchu, assist them with the boat. We will prepare for battle. The rebellion must succeed. We'll be back with the box. Take care. We will be ready when you return. All right. Here we go. So what's next? We'll head back to Kwak Yaku. Regroup and take it from there. I'll finally get to wear my clothes of choice.
all that for another riddle. What did it say? The heart of the serpent is in the cup, near the many stone faces. Well, it's better than nothing. I suppose. We need to find the box and end this. showed up in some little town. <gasps> up anywhere. Shark <coughs> <anywhere. coughs> What's up, Chief? Should I be expecting some kind of glow or mystical humming? I think we looked over here, here, maybe here. Is that what you remember? I don't know. Does it matter? If we missed something the first time, we should look at everything again. Yeah, good point. Okay. Do you think the river is higher or lower than it was? Come on, man. Stop asking me to remember things. Right. As soon as Operation Lone Wolf got called off last time, I completely pushed it from my mind. Alright. Before we 
support team. Why the fuck are you still looking for that box? You have hostiles in your area. Well, Dr. Dominguez... I don't give a damn about Dominguez. Find Lara Croft and kill her. Find Lara Croft, how? We're spread out way too goddamn thin for that. This was a research operation. Let's just get out of here. Friends, good night. First, Dominguez tells us to look for the box. Now, Rourke tells us to look for Croft. Who are we supposed to listen to? Well, Rourke is a lazy shit. Now, I have to do everything. First of December 1603, Lopez had grown pensive since exiting the cenote. I led the way, and when I turned toward the city, at last he spoke, calling for us to stop. Then, after swearing me to silence, he shared with me a secret he had been carrying. That night, by the river, I met with the Emperor. I confessed to him who I was, who we are, and the true purpose of our visit. Trinity's fattened leaders, too busy with politics for even the morning's prayers, are not worthy of the box. The Emperor and I agreed that the only way to keep it safe from them was for me to claim it, take it far from here and hide it until one of the Paititi royal line, a chosen one, can follow his antecedents' clues and rediscover it. Having thus unburdened himself, Lopez turned on his heels and set a course deeper into the jungle. Finally. What the hell? What the hell am I supposed to do? Hunaratu's dead, shot in the back by Rourke. I don't have the box. Jonah. God. If anything happened. God damn it. I can finally. Or not. You know. Great. Well, we can at least put the outfit on. It was the Hunter's Array Apex. Fuck it, I'll wear it. Alright, so, we're going to call it there, and uh, then we'll be back in just a second to do another part. Thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. -bye.